Hello today, Life Club members. Today I'm especially excited because a mother hummingbird has just laid two beautiful pearly white eggs in her nest. Today it is March 15th, 2017, and I can you spot the beautiful mother hummingbird? They're hard to find, but here she is. Isn't that beautiful? In our own cherry tree, in our front yard. Once she flies a le away, let's get a look at the beautiful eggs she has laid. Tiny! Now that our mother hummingbird's gone, let's take a look at her eggs. Wow, aren't they tiny? Here's how small they are compared to my finger. Hummingbirds may be tiny, but their brains are bigger than any other bird's brains compared to their body size. Look at that beautiful nest. Hummingbirds are fashionable and love to decorate their nests. Hello, today it is March 25th, and just recently, Two beautiful little babies just hatched from this nest. Here they are. I'm wearing safety goggles because mother hummingbirds can be protective and maybe even try to peck me in the eyes. It's dangerous for growing little baby hummingbirds. Predators may be lurking around. today. It is March 28th and the two babies which I have decided to name Bud and Blossom are growing up. Now they're getting little furry like feathers. There's also another little family of birds. These aren't hummingbirds but they're so very cute. They're living in the eaves of our house. Now today, quite a bit of time has passed and it is already April 7th. Now you can see one of their cute little beaks sticking out of the nest. There's the little tongue. Did you know that hummingbird nests can actually stretch with the baby's growth. Now, on April 14th, Bud and Blossom have grown quite a bit, but they're still really cute, cuddling together, cram packed in their nest, which is a lot too small for them now. Mother hummingbirds are very hard working. They eat around every 15 minutes and also have to feed their young as well as keeping them warm. I can't imagine a mother so dedicated. OMG, that was incredible. Swift Wing the mother just fed them on film. I didn't think I could get a film like that. Thanks, Swift Wing, and thanks, Bud and Blossom. Still looking out for their mother. Are you trying out your wing?
They're trying out their wings for the first time. I can't believe I'm getting this on camera. Hummingbirds can beat their wings 80 times per second. You can do it. You can do it. Oh. My. Gosh. Are you gonna try and fly away? When a hummingbird is in flight, their hearts can beat 1,200 times per minute. Their hearts can also expand to make the blood flow faster. Hummingbirds' wings flap differently than other birds. Their wings beat in a figure eight pattern. Preening before maybe a first flight. The mothers don't only drink nectar and reg regurgitate them to give to their babies. They also uh, eat a lot of bugs because they need lots of protein to be able to fly with their wings beating that many times per second or else they'll die. If a baby isn't fed for a few hours, they can die. But at night, it's a good thing they go into torpor, which is a hummingbird sleep, so that um, they don't... Oh, here they come, popping their heads up. Die of hunger. When hummingbirds are in torpor, their heartbeat actually slows down. And they fluff up their feathers. I'm glad we don't spray pesticides in our yard so that hummingbirds can enjoy a delicious meal of bugs such as bees. A lot of people want to spray their plants or just try to smash bees because they sting. But bees are very important to the environment, pollinating flowers so that we can have plants at all. They also feed wonderful birds like our family of hummingbirds. And are very friendly. Bees don't normally sting unless you are um, hurting them first, especially little honeybees like this. Honeybees are friendly and deserve humans' respect. Now, today on April 15th, Blossom has already flown out of the nest. It's really exciting. April 16th, 2017, Easter morning, I have found out that both the little baby hummingbirds, Bud and Blossom, have flown away. Now they can start a new story of their own.